So I just got my very first Daphne's Diary box, paper box in the mail. And I will start off by saying this is a little bit pricey. It's uh, around $80 US, but you get so much in this box. It is insane, okay? And I wanted to do an unboxing today because I am absolutely in love with everything that's in here. Um, so yeah, this is a little bit pricey, but you get so much paper and it is so beautiful. I had to spoil myself. I very rarely ever make a splurge like this. Usually when I go and buy paper, I try to buy it on sale. I'll use a Michaels coupon, but I have never seen anything like this before. And I've been watching Amity Bloom and her papers that she has. And I started looking back through some of her videos and I've seen where she talks about Daphne's diary and how she gets the magazine. I mean, each magazine, if you don't have a subscription, each magazine is 14.95 GBP or yeah, GBP. So is that right? GBP? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think that works out to be around 17 US, I think, given give or take, depending on the currency conversion. But I'm going to slide the box over because I want to show you the magazine. Now the magazine is in two parts. So you can see how it's right side up, but then it goes to upside down because <clears throat> this particular magazine has a wedding planner in the back. So if you flip it over, here's the wedding planner. Now this is not something I personally need. I'm not thinking I'm going to get be getting married anytime soon. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me my honey and I've been together for eight and a half years and we've talked about the wedding thing and we've both decided that we're good with the way things are so we are not in need of a wedding planner however look how beautiful this stuff is seriously this the the pictures alone in here are just gorgeous and to be honest with you, I don't think I am going to ruin the integrity of this magazine. I want to keep this magazine intact. So if I do use this, and I will use this in my journaling, but I'll make copies on my printer because there is no way that I'm going to destroy this beautiful magazine. It is just too incredibly gorgeous. So this magazine is completely about weddings, <clears throat> how to plan a wedding, beautiful stuff. Like, look at this. You can cut this out, take this with you on your honeymoon, hang it on your door. Look how gorgeous that is. I mean, it is on really, really thick. Hear that? Really thick, high quality paper. Um, I think these are napkin rings. They are paper napkin rings so when you cut these out and then you fold them they come into the shape of a butterfly absolutely gorgeous 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 and that's supposed to be the inside so some of this stuff I may take out and use I don't know that I'm going to use paper napkin rings but um, I might entertain the idea of laminating them and cutting them out so you never know <clears throat> Another thing you can do if you have a laminator and you don't want to ruin the integrity of the magazine is you can scan this page and print it front to back and then laminate that and cut that out. So it's got all kinds of recipes in here. Some of these just look amazing. Mango smoothie, mint and thyme, tea. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a little bit of a scratchy throat today, so I'm so sorry. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So I'm not going to sit here and flip through the whole magazine uh, because that would be boring. Look at these shoes. Oh, it's just gorgeous. 
I'm not sure what. Look, it's got stickers in here. Oh, so cute. Paper rose. Oh. <gasps> you can make paper roses. Oh, how cute. Does it come with instructions? There's a lot of pages in here. No, I don't see instructions. I'll have to read through this to see. But look, it's got hair. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So, that's the magazine that came in the box. Then, there's the box. Oh, oh I'm so excited. <laughs> look at these stickers. The little bunnies. They are so cute. God, I wish I could reproduce these, but that'd be a lot of fussy cutting, and I ain't even about that life. Okay. Uh... Little stickers here. Looks like little mason jars. How cute is that? Little baby washi flags. Very cute. This is my favorite. Look at this. Cats reading a book. Look, he's the only one turned around and he's got this look on his face like, what are you looking at? So cute. So cute. Love this. And then this is just a thank you card thanking me for my order. And then inside the box, whoa, look at this cute little paper clip. I'll get that closer to the camera so you guys can see. You just flip this open and then you can, oh, here it goes. So you just like pop that back and you clip it like into your journal. So cute. Little notepad. Look at this watercolor. It comes on a really nice, high-quality card. These are things I'm going to frame. These and this and this, these are going in my bedroom um, because I'm in the process of decorating my bedroom right now and didn't really know what I wanted to put in frames on the walls, but this is it. These are going in my bedroom. May as well just pull those out. These are, are just like little... You pop these out. You can see how that pops out. Um, they're just little cards. They're just little, little ephemera. Same here. More ephemera. It's got pictures on the back. Oh, I love these teacups. Look how cute those are. See the teacups? Oh, just beautiful. I am all about the retro and the shabby chic. So gorgeous. And then, this is huge, okay? So, it's hard to see because I've got the camera. The camera goes up as high as it's going to go up because I'm sitting on the floor. But this thing is huge. I want to say it is uh, 14 by 16 maybe. But I'm thinking, oh, I just love owls. I love this owl right here, and I love this bride right here. And there's so many other beautiful element, elements in here. Look at the lovebirds and the little puppies. So this is something I'm going to put on my scanner and print it so that I can color just the parts that I want and then keep that. I know it sounds like I'm hoarding, but to be honest with you, I just don't want... I want to be able to use things multiple times, so that's why I'm doing it that way. And then these are just little buntings. You can cut these out, string them, and put them on your wall if you want, or uh, you can use them as bookmarks. You can just use them as journaling cards in your planner. You can just use them as ephemera, whatever you want to do. This is just a photo of a chair. This here is another ginormous print that I think I'm actually going to see if I can get framed because it is just gorgeous. Maybe I'll cut the elements out and use it. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. More paper. Just more pictures with little like frames. Just things you can cut out and use. Um, this, I'm not sure what this is. It's some kind of an origami. But it doesn't tell me what it is. So, 
I might have to call them and ask them. It's hard to tell. Could be a frog. Might be a frog. Don't know. Anyway. <laughs> oh, more journaling cards. A cute little paper bag. I love that. That's gorgeous. Hearts. You can cut these hearts out and use them. More hearts that you can cut out and use. Beautiful. All kinds of stuff in here. A little coloring book. I love this coloring book. Some of them are already colored. Some of it you can finish coloring. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love this. Some of this I haven't looked through entirely. I will admit that I opened the box up and I thumbed through to see what was inside, but I did not look at everything. So some of this is a huge surprise for me. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I love all the little teapots. Oh, that's pretty watering can with flowers. Oh, I can just see myself like watercoloring this. Beautiful. Oh, so cute. Oh, that's so pretty. Some of these I'm going to just color and frame. I'm just going to color them and frame them because they're just gorgeous. Uh, that's just a card, a to-do list card. How cute is that? A little recipe book. Love to cook. To put your recipes in here. I've been thinking about doing a shabby chic recipe journal. And this would go perfect in that. Because I want to create a journal of all my recipes and make it shabby chic and beautiful. And I think that's going to go perfect in there. Here's another one. Rest, another recipes book. Look how gorgeous this is. I am so in love. Just so in love with this. Now these, oh my God, these are so cute. They're turkeys. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've lost my mind. They're peacocks. <laughs> They're turkeys. These are little peacocks here. You cut these out and then you put, I'm going to make one. Look how cute this is. I'll pop this out. Don't rip it. There's a bug flying around in my face. Getting on my nerves. <gasps> Look how cute. Oh. I don't think that's the way that goes. I think you have to glue it or something. But, oh, you can't see it. I'm sorry. Look how cute that is. I think you have to glue it or something. But that's what it's supposed to look like. How adorable. We're going to keep this together. I have to figure that out. More little pop-out things. Oh, they're little windmill thingies. Oh, you just need a popsicle stick. How cute. <laughs> I'm going to have fun with this box. I think I just turned into a five-year-old again. Then they gave me another one of these. Cats reading a book. Flowers. New month, new beginnings, new mindset, new focus, new start, new intentions, new results. So here's a card that I could send out to somebody if I wanted to. I use it in my journaling. A little rocking horse paper. It's really not a lot on the back. It's just a little decor on the back. Oh, now this is gorgeous. I love this. This is huge. This is the one I was thinking I'm going to get framed. All you have to do is iron the creases out, get a poster frame, hang it on the wall. It'd be gorgeous. More of those lovely stickers. Daphne's Diary Holiday. So here's a little journal. So if you're going on holiday, you can take this little journal, you can write in it, describe the weather, 
stick any tickets that you've gotten on your holiday there my cat just jumped up on my chair so that scared me draw what you see and write about it a to-do list another describe the weather more places to put tickets draw what you see I'll bet you the last one is a to-do list nope just dear diary oh how cute how cute little card we're not even halfway through this yet can you believe this gorgeous more paper more paper oh look at this I did briefly look through this earlier I love this if I can find a frame that's square like this I'm gonna frame some of these just beautiful oh, if not I can maybe cut it out and use it in a collage or something that's just gorgeous little ephemera you could cut out and use just more paper yep just one piece more paper bows just different things you can cut out and use boxes see you can make boxes out of this I'm sorry if I'm out of frame I'm so excited about seeing all this stuff it just makes me so happy look you can make a little bag how cute is that gorgeous then some bow ephemera you can cut out here's some imitations so you have a little imitation front and back you can fill out that side more imitations this is just some paper it's floral on the front you can write a nice letter to someone I already know who I'm gonna write a letter to because I have to send her something Look how gorgeous another little notepad oh, so I'm putting that off to the side because I want that for my planner home sweet home that's beautiful so I'm so excited about this this paper box look all kinds of gorgeous paper in here I think I'm gonna frame this and put it in my kitchen how cute is that love it Perfect for a journal. Okay, so here's a little book of various papers. You can just tear them out and use them in collage or just as a background in your journal. Some cool stuff to cut out. You can make an envelope or something. So beautiful. another envelope you can cut out and make there's another large print I already know what I'm doing with this I'm cutting this up and making paper beads because that is gonna make gorgeous paper beads gorgeous more paper Oh, this is you can cut something out. It doesn't tell you. I think it's just flourishes. Yeah, this is just flourishes that you can cut out. More flourishes to cut out. This is cute. Oh, <gasps> how cute is this? Oh, you can make a little grandfather clock. Oh, I'm so doing that. Oh. How adorable. Oh, and this one you can make a little miniature, like, whatever you call that. <laughs> you know, whatever you call that. Oh, how cute. And then you put the little flowers on top. Oh, how fun it reminds me of paper dolls when I was little more flourishes have a lovely day oh look more furniture to cut out and play with <gasps> how cute
cute a little chair with a cat on it. Oh. How sweet. I love that. See, I told you I did not pay attention when I was looking at this stuff before. These pop out too to use in your journals or whatever. These flourishes don't. I wish they did. Sometimes I like fussy cutting, but sometimes I don't. See, here's some paper doll stuff you can cut out and use. Oh, how cute. There's, there's all kinds of ephemera back here. A little park bench and whatnot you can color. More ephemera. More paper to color. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. <gasps> this is gorgeous. These pop out too. Oh, how beautiful. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, these are like journaling cards that pop out. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, gorgeous. The best way to get something done is to begin. Well, that's a novel idea. More paper. Weekend trip diaries. So if you're going away for the weekend, Cut this out, make a little book, just a small, tiny little journal. I might do that, cut this out, because we're going to the flea market this coming weekend. We were supposed to go to Riverbend, but it's a giant festival. It's almost like a tiny Woodstock or something. And after talking it over, even though my honey bought tickets for it, after talking it over, we decided this we're going to sell the tickets and do something else a little bit more uh, less crowded <laughs> less crowded less hot um, less ridiculous I guess as far as from the uh, aspect of being in a crowd and trying to find parking and then after the concerts are all over trying to make your way home and yeah look at this paper look how gorgeous I miss my scooter. I used to have one. I wish I never would have sold it. I love my scooter. I'm going to get another one. And another oh, another set of these cards. I know who's getting these. I know who. Then look, there's a little book in here. Oh, look how cute. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper. I cannot wait to start using this paper. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm like totally out of frame. I'm just like minding my own business over here looking at this paper. I was supposed to be doing a, an unboxing video and showing you guys and I'm just like over here holding it all tight to my chest. Look how beautiful. okay when I go to edit this video if it sucks I'll redo it <laughs> gorgeous oh and last but not least if I can get this picked up oh look how pretty look at the design in this isn't it gorgeous oh, so pretty and that is it for the unboxing of the Daphne's box. I'm setting those aside because I'm going to be sending those to someone. And because I have extras. If you are interested in getting your own Daphne's box, I will put the link down in my video below, down in the description box. So that you can order your own Daphne's box. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. This is not paid for by them. None of that. I just absolutely loved it. I had to share it because it is just 
beautiful. So I will put the link down below so you guys can get your own Daphne's box. And um, I cannot wait to start doing journal pages with the stuff in this box so that I can share with you guys how to use this stuff. So thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.